What is going on guys? We are back with another video and we are doing a rebuild of the Carolina Panthers and you know the kind of rule now, the fantasy styles. They do a voiceover for the first minute and a half because that's literally how long an hour of footage comes down to for me in the first season. And here we are going to hopefully look at the team. Here we are, Cam Newton, Jonathan Stewart. Uh, don't know really who we're going to trade. Probably Jonathan Stewart, let's be honest. Christian McCaffrey, pretty much all the rookie running backs on the first round this year become starters gotta love this uh you know intro that i've created for myself but we're gonna go for the f go for the flow well let's yeah let's let's go for it instead of with it uh but here is the team of course finally got to it uh decent offensive line actually the panthers have a decent line to work with pretty young as well uh, thomas davis decent player but he almost always retires first year so we're probably gonna get rid of him let's be honest uh, and here, going for Joey Bosa, we get Joey Bosa. He might have been on the thumbnail, so that may or may not have been a spoiler alert. You get a first round. They got a lot out of that. I know those guys aren't going to last a whole long time, but they still landed a pretty damn good trade. McKinney, been a while since we got him. Here we are. And here's the pretty damn big steal of the, the what is it called, the trading process. Pretty much two no-names for the first overall pick. I don't know how the hell we landed that. Jeremy Zuda. Nice little 81 overall center. Issa abdul Kudis, I believe an old Lions player, if I'm not mistaken. And Samuel Shields are going to be the guys we're going to get. And here we go, Andrew Norwell and Graham Gano, the two guys we're going to sign. And on to the live. Don't usually do any, like, you know, asking for likes, but can we, can we get this video to 300? I think we can. It's been a while. I, you know, normally I don't ask for it, but we haven't had a 300-like video in ages. So if you guys do enjoy this, you know, yeah. Maybe like it. It's up to you. Going to the playoffs in which we're hopefully there. I really didn't have any uh, plans on being here. Oh, we did lose, sadly, which means we would have probably had a bye week. Uh, Drew Brees at 9-7, and seven, who probably didn't make the playoffs, was MVP. That's He must have had a really good season. But really didn't have any plans. Not that I was trying to tank, but I didn't expect us to do this well, to be honest. I mean, we played pretty damn well. I wish we didn't lose this game against the Falcons. Because not only did that probably put them in the playoffs, but it also took away what I would assume would be a bye week. To be fair, I think the Falcons might have made it anyways. Seahawks made it with their two draws. The Saints didn't even make the playoffs. And they had an MVP. I mean, Drew Brees. I love you, bro. But you ain't getting MVP in real life. Especially how oh, that was kind of rude. <laughs> He's never had MVP. I'm um, sorry, Drew. You deserve it. I don't know why you haven't had one, but yeah, you're not getting MVP when your team doesn't make the playoffs. I think. Wow. Okay. So Mike Adams a went off seven picks for a 99 year old man, and then Luke Keekley had 11 picks. I've never seen a linebacker have double digit picks in a sim league. Like sim is in simulating Christian McCaffrey. Let's be honest. Let's not get too wild. We ain't getting no offensive rookie of the year with Christian. He had a decent season. I still can't believe Drew Brees. We got to take a look at that season. We have to. If we don't, the world may collapse. Was I mean, Cam wasn't great. Luke Keekley was, however. Okay, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Christian McCaffrey. Uh, to be fair, we don't have to deal with the likes of Deshaun Watson. Defensive rookie of the year. Do we have someone? Jordan Lewis won that. That sucks. Sure, Lewis would have won it for Legacy League. Uh, wide receivers. I keep forgetting I'm not the Cowboys here. Mari Cooper, number nine, uh, number seven, and ten. D line Bosa, best linebacker, clearly. I mean, 11 picks for a linebacker. That's ridiculous. Really, Rhodes over. Okay, makes sense. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the XP. I didn't forget the slider, so McCaffrey, 26. Shaq Mason and Daryl. Oh, Norwell, surprisingly. I mean, you, normally it's the um, it's the lower guys, like 80 to 85, but Norwell's a part of this whole XP boost thing. Curtis Samuel, a little bit disappointing, but that's all right because you have a lot of draft picks. Uh, really was hoping this Hall guy would have had a lot of XP. Yeah, you can't really expect much from Keegley. He's already 99, but it's all right. So Cam Newton should be very happy because we got him from 80 pass block to 90 pass block, so... Offensive line should be nice. <laughs> it's kind of sucky because I really want the youngest to start, but Russell Shepard actually had a decent season here. Uh, he's 26, which isn't bad. I mean, 
Let's be honest, though. In Madden, that's very bad. I really wish Rashawn Hall. I mean, Rashawn Hall, it's not like he's going to be, you know, benched, but you guys know we like to find some of those steals late in the draft. If I find anyone even halfway good, you you done. You done. Okay, Luke Keekley is actually not a 99 overall. I've made my mistakes. Cam Newton, this is a tough man to deal with. Like, the things he says about women. No, but, yeah, he's kind of tough to deal with because he's he's above average, but that's about the best we're going to get. Depending on who we draft, I might have to put Cam Newton on the list of weekly XP just so he has a chance to be great. So, like I said, not wasn't really expecting to have one of those insane Super Bowl years, but there's a chance. There's definitely a chance. Uh, and you guys can tell I didn't expect to win because I have three or four first rounds this year. Um, defense, not bad, surprisingly. Like They look like they really shouldn't even be that great, but we are. So let's go against the 9-5-2 uh, the and two Seahawks. Jesus. You would have thought you were looking at like the footy world. Uh, only an 84 overall to their 88. So I don't know how the hell we went 11-5. and five. We're one of those teams that I absolutely despise. One of those mid-tier, barely above average teams that does way better than the team that's like a 94 overall. But hey, I'll take it. Finally on the right side of history for once. So sadly did not, did not get a bye week, which really does suck because we should have. Should have been able to beat the Falcons there near the end. And it's pretty much a guarantee that you're going to get a bye week at 12 wins. Maybe 13 max. And by max, I mean like that's the most you'll need. Actually minimum? I don't even know. I will say, I don't really like Christian McCaffrey in this game. I like his developmental ability, but he's missing a lot of the stats that are kind of expensive to get. But I will say, does look nice in a Panthers uniform. Come on, lads. I believe. Start of the fourth. I don't know who has the ball here. Seahawks have a great defense. Jesus. Is that great? Might have just lost. Ugh. I mean, we can hold them to a field goal. Yeah, that's not going to happen. With about three minutes and an offense that can't move the ball. Okay. This isn't even about winning anymore. This is about winning. What? I mean, this would be one hell of a defensive performance by the, the Seahawks. It's not like it's impossible for them to do. Cam Newton. Cameron Newton. I can get out of bounds. I will fumble. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that happened. That definitely happened. Unfortunate. Defense didn't make a stop anyways, but 17-6. to six. Yeah, not really ex exactly what I was expecting. I will say, like I said before, we were one of those teams that were really didn't deserve an 11-5 and five record. And we actually did play some tough teams, but yeah, that was just not... I mean, that it's one of the worst playoff performances I've ever seen by any quarterback. He did fumble, but that was really on me. Chris Carson was godly. McCaffrey was all right, just didn't give him a lot of carries. Definitely a run-first team, which I might be changing schemes for. Uh, I think this team's all right. We don't have Jonathan Stewart now, though, and I don't know if Curtis Payne can get it done. So, unless we get a new running back to play backup that's going to be good, probably switch our scheme up to maybe hopefully get Cam going. I mean, he has a bit more options than he does in real life, so why not? That's rough. 17-6. to six. Yikes. And it could have been worse because they were about to score. I hate seeing the overall being a yellow. To be fair, we probably are green by now, probably in 85-86 with the upgrades, but still. Who is it? Who's in there? Eagles Rams, so kind of expected that the uh, Seahawks would not advance. Browns have a new coach, that pedophile Adam Gase. I'm sorry, Adam. You might be a great guy, but Jesus. I don't know if it's you or the pitcher they took, but you, I mean, look at him. Tell me you would let your kid hang out with him for an hour. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't let my kid hang out with a, an adult male at all. But you're telling me you're going to a daycare and this guy's the one running it and you're going to leave your kid with them? I mean, unless your kid knows karate, I'm I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. Uh, so, where the one? Got distracted there. He was named this year's MVP, so... What the hell is his name? Long Jones. <laughs> All right, EA. All right. Uh, I will say we did draft one of those uh, superstars last rebuild, but... 
The guy did look good on his own anyways. Okay, Long Jones doesn't matter. Superstar Dev. He's got the makings of a damn good player since he is Superstar, but I don't think that would be someone that I would want. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we do need a pass rusher. We might have a pick up there. Cornerback is the big need, though. Uh, I didn't finish scouting the rest of the class. But what I will say... Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, Quindangio is going to be on our team. This guy looks alright, too, to be fair. We, maybe we won't even draft a first-round corner. It would make no sense because that's our biggest need. But there's some really good players laid in... You know, we, sometimes we have way too many goddamn uh, corners that we don't even know who to start. So we're about to see who wins the Super Bowl. We also have to re-sign some players. I don't think there's going to be anyone here. I re-signed Chris. Uh, Chris? Gramga now. I also re-signed... Uh, okay, so the Eagles win. You know, we usually don't look at who... You know, the extent of the win, so... Let's see their, uh, their trip as well. Wild card round. They did not play. Eagles in the divisional. They barely won against the Seahawks. That makes you feel all right. Destroyed the Rams. Close game against the Chargers. Let's be honest. Uh, so we have a free safety here we can resign. This isn't realistic, so I'm not forced to resign anyone. And our money's looking a little rough, so sorry, bro. Zuda, sorry, bro. Sam Shields, I feel like we have enough in this draft to where we don't need to grab him. Polardi, no. We're going to find a better punter anyways. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be any of these guys that we're going to re-sign. Who's Brian Cox? It's a left end, 68 overall, doesn't want a bonus. Fast with no talent. Sorry, bro. I would love to keep uh, Bird, but I, I just can't. It's $2 million for a position that is so easy to find in Madden. Yeah, so we re-signed none of those guys. I mean, we did sign like three or four during the season, but still... Vancey to next week, sign free agent, so a little bit under 30 mil, probably not going to be anyone here worth it anyways. I will say, like, Garrett Blunt, that would be nice, and they're not offering him a whole lot, so there's a chance here. Oh, Jeremy Hill, never mind. I want Jeremy Hill. Don't get me wrong, I think Blunt's way better, but... Okay, well, I want to give him, like, I actually want him here. I don't know, you know, the prospects in the draft. Even this isn't really that much of a big deal for a contract anyways. Who can we get? Uh, like, I get some teams are rebuilding and whatnot, but, like, if you're signing Josh McCown at this point in his career, like, what are you doing as a franchise, you know? Which is why I'm very proud that no one's signing him at this point. My favorite time in all the world. Damn it! Didn't get a single player. So I was trying to make a joke, and yeah, it didn't work. Ivan Drago is not on our team. But we do have college players. We can take a look at a running back here as well. Any quarterbacks? Garrett Groom. There's a lot of quarterbacks, actually. There's no such thing as any quarterbacks in this draft. There's just a lot. So are all these quarterbacks going to be taken? Like, if this Mitchell Hynoski is there in, like, the mid to late second. You best believe I'm going to take him. I'm not saying he'll start, but it is a fantasy rebuild. I can do whatever I want here. 7.4, Frank Boyette. I mean, we could use a running back, but I don't think we're at that level. We just drafted one in real life, technically. I don't know why I said technically. It's physically, technically, whatever way you want to look at it. So, yeah, we wasted the first week of scouting there. Not a huge fan of what we've done, but it's all right. We still got another week. Still got another week of not getting a damn free agent. Average wide receiver. Wide receiver, not the biggest need in the world for us this draft. But it's definitely something we want. Damn it. We're running out of points. We're running out of time, actually. This is the last week to scout, and I don't even... I mean, to be fair, I did have auto scouting on, so maybe... Maybe most of those positions are already filled. So, offensive line, we did get rid of Zuda, so we only need, like, one dude. Oh, my God. A mid-first Matthew Sermon. To be fair, his grade kind of like threw me off a little bit. He's actually not super great. Old man here. Whoa. Whoa. Hands down right now, he's the best prospect I've ever seen for an offensive lineman. Obviously, you know, nothing's certain. But holy crap, that's clearly the best. Let me know if you guys have ever seen those like better potentials than that. He had a pretty damn good combine as well. Well, I don't know why I said that because it's not true. <laughs> Only me. 
Only me. That's all I can say is only me. You had a pretty damn good combine as well. Skips combine. All right. I mean, we tried to pull one over on you guys. Late first, Francis Mays. He actually looks pretty decent. I normally don't go that high for a DT, but there's a chance. So I don't know if I have anyone, like, super high. If we're number one overall, there's a chance I might take that linebacker. There is a chance. We'll see. There's a chance. <laughs> so the Niners... Uh, I think they've solidified their pass rush pretty well in real life, so I might be able to trade down to them. Uh, we're not, you know, guaranteed. Is this guy really this high up? Holy crap. Oh, wow. Michael Black. I think I have to trade the pick. It's too valuable not to. Oh, the Redskins are trying to hop. Redskins, they really need a linebacker. So basically, if I'm trading the Niners here, I'm giving myself a chance at this linebacker. But if I go to the Redskins, I'm pretty much throwing that chance right out the window. Uh, let's see, linebackers. I don't think they would take a pass rusher to play coverage. Ooh, would they, though? I don't know if EA knows the difference. Ruben Foster in a first round? There's no way, right? I don't even think we come close with just Ruben. Yeah, we're just asking for Ruben. That's too much. Sometimes you can't even get your sandwich these days. So we'll, we'll make the trade. It's definitely worth it. I don't really have... Honestly, I'd rather them take the linebacker than the corner. Damn it, I was just joking! Oh, man. Like, allow myself to feel good about myself if I didn't take Michael Black here. He's too good not to. Wow, they actually gave him quick. How is that even fair? Great player. Great player. But how do you give a 97 speed 6'4 player quick dev? But Francis Mays should be a great player. And he is very great. Quick dev, 81 overall. Better than I expected, if we're going to be honest. Normally the DTs are kind of 50-50, but that was a great player. Let me go Quincy Haynes, I think. 79 overall, normal dev, smaller player, 21 years old, great player. Ranked 18, took him 20. Should have a lot of picks in the second round. So we trade two third rounds this year and Warley for Mike Evans. Don't really usually do those uh, draft in draft pick type deals, but have quite a bit of picks here. So I wanted to get the guaranteed talent, which Mike Evans is a hard guy to pass up on. Almost never get him. It might be a little bit of a reach, but we're going to take this lineman now. Uh, definitely worth it. I've never seen someone that great. Oh, wow, 83 overall. He is a sick, sick player. I'm surprised they didn't give him like superstar or something just to make him the greatest ever. 83 overall lineman in the third round. Could have taken him mid-fourth. I mean, he doesn't look good in his potentials at all, but C-pluses could all be 79s, and he had a great combine, so we're going to take him. 72 overall. He's already a DT, which kind of sucks. Um, at 21 and 87 strength, I think because of that strength, it allows him to be developable. Don't think he has any chance with us, though. You can't pass up on a guy like this. You can't miss him, so we're going to take him. Uh, 78 overall, quick dev, very fast, great player. Uh, another starting cornerback, more than likely. Whoa, I don't know if this guy's good or not, but I'm going to take him just on... Look at that. Almost just passed them up, but... I was like, wait a minute, A minus 7.2, good combine. I'm going to take him. Just out of the blue, took him, didn't even have him scouted, and we land a star. There you go. Rashad Peters looks okay. We'll see. Yep, quick dev, 76 overall. I wish that was zone coverage I was better because somebody here is going to have to play. Uh, I almost went into uh, somebody, but somebody's definitely going to have to play safety for sure. Could have traded a seventh next year to land one of those players. It is what it is, though. We still landed an amazing draft. I don't think we drafted a bad player. Even that tight end, he's still going to be a fullback for us, probably. Fountain, I guess, but... Yeah, we drafted how many? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And only one of them was really bad. Uh, Palco, once again, fullback. So some of these players, a little on the older side. Michael Black, though, 23, god tier. Uh, Mays, 22, god... Well, yeah, I'd say god tier. Haynes, great player, probably going to be one of the safeties. Jim, Germany, super beast. Uh, Pepe, not going to be for us. Maybe tradable, we'll see. We didn't really give him too much of a bonus. So the top three guys all in the first round, they got some you know, they got some money. They're getting paid, but all three of those guys are guaranteed to start. Germany, guaranteed to start. Pepe, not even hard to trade, and the bonus really isn't high. Uh, Palco, I mean, decent player, you know, not too expensive for a, hopefully a good player fullback but landed some really good talent late i mean that's one of our better drafts for sure don't usually get that kind of depth it was a good draft in general what's the best trucking you've seen from a running back with 
above 88 speed, excel, and agility. Like, even 88 is pretty low, but I just want to know. It's it's very interesting to me. Jared Schobel, uh, that player. Norman, wish we would have landed this guy. I really need a safety, but hopefully one of the corners we landed will be good enough. So the Texans didn't even have anything in the top three rounds. Interesting. Grosset, or whatever his name is, a bit better than I expect him to be. Probably should have drafted him, but it is what it is. Seth Sicko. All right, EA, we, we need to stop. It's like, we need to stop, EA, ASAP. Somebody in your staff may have a mental disease. Ramon Hughes, I should have drafted him. But like I said, I thought he was a second-round talent. Maybe it was early second, I didn't notice. Oh, Boyette. A little Saquon Barkley. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, he didn't have the 88 agility, but this is definitely one of the best power backs I've seen. Quick dev, good size, good speed and whatnot, and you almost never see this. So, ironically as it is, there it is. So, I have the... the tough part of do I want to hold out and let Hall work do I want him to dev because we could easily make a ton of trades right now but I don't know we'll we'll get to it in a second not 100% sure what we're gonna do yet Brandon Marshall definitely playing number two tight end for us though that has been already guaranteed hello how are you doing Cameron it looks like Funches might be traded okay you don't see that very often this is what I was talking about like somebody was talking about in the the comment section in one of the videos saying, yeah, I don't see um, undrafted get drafted. Well, unpro unprojecteds get drafted very often. But that's the reason why. Because look at that. I mean, that guy would appear to be an undrafted free agent who was just god tier. You know, it's not super common, but it happens. It definitely happens. And I would say a lot of the times the AIs would probably sign them before you even get a chance to. There you go. Third round for Marshawn. Hopefully he plays at least another year for us, but I want a great backup, and there he is. Might have overtraded, but I mean, at this point, what are we what are we worried about? Brendan Marshall, definitely going to be our number two tight end. You would say, oh, why not Funches? And you'd actually be right. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> Good call, lads. Jamal Adams. I don't go for Jamal ever. Wow, okay, that was really easy. Pepe in the first round for Jamal. Okay. So the Packers pulling off a little bit of highway robbery on us. Try Turner a first round and a second round this year for David Bakhtiar. He is a franchise left tackle, but still, that's that's a lot. I'm surprised we had to give up that much for him, to be honest. I'll tell you, normal dev must be a pain because we get DeMarcus 96 overall Lawrence for Hall a third this and a third next year. Whoa, double Shaq Mason. So here is Christian Ponder. All right, I guess stats going to be released. Sorry, dude. Apparently we have Christian Ponder on our team. I don't even know. But this is the roster. I'm probably going to change schemes. But yeah, the roster is looking a little sick. A plus, A plus, A, A, B, A plus, A, A minus, B minus, A minus, B plus, D. <laughs> but uh, Christian McCaffrey is, you know, one of the training guys. Got 3,200 right now, so we should have an A minus, maybe an A after the season's over there, too. Defense, definitely a lot younger. Definitely a lot younger, so we'll see how that works out. But also much better. Corners are clearly better all across the front. We have three rookies starting there. We have a rookie starting at free safety. Linebackers are actually a little disappointing, considering the, you know, one of the easier positions to fill in Madden. But I don't want to, you know, go for trades on everything. I think we're, you know, set up for the future. We're looking good. New punter as well, Zimmerman, uh, not a bad player. So let's go on and uh, hopefully make the playoffs again and maybe win this time. 61-14. to 14. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. So so we actually have a couple of names this year, I think. Oh, we have a lot of names. Please have money. Okay, there it is. So we do have Cashish, but that's the thing. We need Cashish because holy crap. McKinney has superstar as well. That's going to hurt us. Oh, my Lord. This is a year and a half for re-signings. Damn. So, Darrell Williams is the most expendable player I see so far. Devin Funches clearly is gone now. Obviously, Mike Evans, we have to re-sign. We just got him, but he's clearly worth the money. Screw you. Damn, this is rough. Going to have to take a look at the draft stories now. Left outside linebacker, Renardo Young and Danielle Alvardo. Was it Alvardo or Alvacado? 
Might actually let McKinney go. So Renardo Young, decent player, superstar dev, and then Daniel Ar uh, Arvarado. Arvarado. Some good players there, superstar. So linebacker, we're going to take a look. Definitely want to draft one this year since I really don't want to pay McKinney. I mean, he's not really asking for the craziest deal in the world. So, I mean, definitely something we could easily afford, but don't want to. I didn't mention it, but Cam is also on a very short leash as well. Like, I'm sorry, you don't get paid six years for over 100 mil and not dominate. So we get Mike Evans back. Shaq Mason is a very good talent, and he wants a little bit less than Daryl, I think. So we're re-signing him. Uh, so Amari Cooper, he's asking for a very fair deal. We'll give him a five-year as well. Perfection. Shaq Thompson. Him and... Uh, McKinney both want a similar deal. I think McKinney and him are very similar. I think I'd rather resign Shaq, though. I definitely need to sign one of the two. Uh, so we're not that at, you know, we're not actually in that bad of a situation. We're gonna sign Daryl Williams as well. Can't can't let the line go bad. God damn it, man. And then I never really thought about Greg Olson, but we'll we'll have to hit that row when we get there, because 33 years old is a little old. So I think the move, oh, I like Greg Olson, three years for 30, or Funches, four years for under 30. I think Funches is the move. Going to the playoffs, are we in it? We made it last year. I feel like we're a better team this year. We are younger, though, so that could hurt us. And we're in. We did, a good re we did get a regression. Cam Newton was MVP, so maybe Cam isn't a problem. He got sacked a few thousand times, though. Cam Newton wins MVP. I don't see that very often. I'm not going to lie. I'm, no, I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say I've never seen that. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, we Wow, we really went off. We lost 1-4, so we were 4-1. Then we went 4-5, and five, and then we didn't lose after. That is impressive stuff. Led by most likely Cam Newton. Switched to the Dallas scheme, and it benefited him nicely. Almost 5,000 yards, 44 touchdowns, 18 picks. Rushing... He had five touchdowns, you know, a little nice stuff there. McCaffrey did well. Lynch really wasn't worth it. Evans, Fisher, that really does suck. Also sucks that Olsen was a uh, decently big target. These two are nice. Really wish Fisher would have gotten something more than that. It's all right, though. Offensive line, Daryl Williams gave up a lot of sacks. Uh, speaking of sacks, 16.5 for DeMarcus, 14.5 for Bosa. Picks, Luke goes from 11 to 4. Rashad Peters did well. Michael Black did all right. Kicking Graham Gano is nice. I don't know if we're going to have many awards. I mean, we played well, but we, I don't know how many like of the youngster awards we're going to have. First offense, which is nice. I think we were like, I don't actually remember what we were. 11th defense. Scoring had to be top tier. Number one. No better than top tier. Panthers, number one. No other awards. Do we even have coach of the year? Number nine there. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Cam. Defensive Player of the Year, Luke was number three. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we were... No what? Number nine with our fullback. What the hell? Defensive Rookie of the Year, we had five guys on the list, and none of them won it, sadly. Best QB Cam, best running back. Christian at seven. Best wide receiver, Mike Evans at two. Cooper at five. That sucks. Best online probably had each of them except for Germany up there. Yeah, everyone but Germany. Luke Keekley close, no cigar. Graham Gano, best kicker. Wish it would have been a different person winning an award like that. Actually, no. I don't know what I said. I wish it was a different award we won. <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. Cooper, lots of XP. Don't know where it comes from. Uh, defensive. Almost no XP. But Michael Black's already a decent overall, so... Should be okay there. Maybe an 88 overall for Lucky. Our punter has some XP. Hell yeah. Not going to be great on kick power, but he'll be great on accuracy, which will help the team. Now nah, we're just going to go all the way. 87 overall. Nice. Graham Gano should have some XP, but apparently not. Cam won MVP, and it was basically useless. I mean, his stats are so bad. 90 overall. Jesus. He's not, I mean, the stats aren't that bad, but they're not great. But hey, you want MVP, so 
Can't really hate on him any further than that. Best player in the league, apparently. Most important. So the roster is looking pretty damn good. Uh, we have an amazing offensive line. Top, top of the line. A plus, A plus, A plus, A minus, A. Uh, McCaffrey hit that A minus like we mentioned. Fisher, very big disappointment so far. But it's all right, especially since we don't have him contracted long. So maybe he'll have another you know, better year or two if we re-sign him and we'll get him for cheap. So we'll see, though. Going against the Falcons, not an easy roster at all. Definitely the worst wildcard team you could ever play. We do look great, though. Our roster, 94 overall from, what, 84? That's a plus 10. Plus, might even be higher than that. Yeah, obviously, it takes a week for it to register. And we did get some decent XP. Nothing too spectacular, but I would say probably enough to get us one up. You know, Amari went up like five. A couple of guys went up by five or so. So, we'll see. Could be the year, but like I said, the normal uh, or the... The threshold for me is the three-year process. I like to do these rebuilds for three years, no more, definitely no less. We got the MVP. I don't know the last time a regular season MVP was the Super Bowl MVP, so maybe we can uh, you know, bring history back a little bit here for ourselves. Cam Newton, get himself a nice season. He's, I mean, he's doing well. He's definitely lit it up in that third quarter, giving us a great chance to win this game. It's not over. It's definitely not over. Give him the ball back with about eight minutes left. I mean... Just like that, we're only up seven. Good good play. There you go. Cam Newton's like, nah, bro. I ain't having this. I am definitely winning the Super Bowl. And he clutches up. I mean, classic choke job by us. But then, you know, Cam finishes up. Defense holds on. And we move on to uh, the next round. Even though, once again, we don't get a bye week. So we're forced to play as one of the best teams in the league in the wild card round. Cam Newton... Much better than last year's playoff performance. McCaffrey did well. Lynch did all right. Receiving. Really didn't have anything too spectacular for receiving. Defensively, Luke Keekley with two picks. Bosa with two sacks. Luke Keekley is definitely on the thumbnail. Definitely on the thumbnail for sure. He's balling out. Super balling out. See what we truly are in overall after this sim. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, we have to play the Vikings. That sucks. We are a 95 overall to their 87, so an easier team to play this week. But will it be easy? We're playing at Vikings home, of course. It's going to suck. It's going to be a tough one, but our defense should be able to hold them pretty easily. Although last game, we destroyed it in the third. Doing okay here in the third. Not quite as well, but hopefully enough to get it done. And it appears like it will be. We got out of our own end zone very nicely there. Clutch as hell, and that's going to be game. Yeah, the, we, we definitely do better in the second half. It's not even a question. Dominate in the second half. We almost scored a touchdown again. Almost put up another 42. Case Keenum and the Vikings did not have a good one here. 34-20 to 20. going on to the championship game. Probably, actually, I don't know if it's against the Eagles because the Eagles were looking bad. Cam Newton. Don't know what it is, man, but you are dominating, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, I think it might be the scheme, honestly. Switching to the Dallas scheme was huge for us. Uh, defensively, what do we have? Sacks. Only one, and it was Kwan. That's weird. Jamal Adams with a pick. Graham No misses a kick, but that's already had a great year. Best kicker in the league. I looked, and the Eagles uh, kind of went on a bit of a streak. <laughs> the Eagles uh, won like the last like seven. Oh, God, the Eagles, they won the Super Bowl 95-92. to 92. If we can beat the Eagles, there's no chance whoever is in the AFC you know, side is going to win against us. There's no way. The Eagles are too damn hard to beat. So if we can beat them, nothing can stop us. Oh, almost 5,000 yards. Doesn't matter at his age. Only would have gotten a little bit over 300 XP. Really, on third and one, you lose a yard? That could be the play of the game. Defense makes a play... I don't know how that makes any sense. Looks like we made them lose a ton of yards. Third and three. Clutch play by Cam. Come on, MVP Cam. Win this game. There you go. Three minutes left. Eagles definitely have the talent to get it done. But the defense is more talented. Come on. Come on. Is it over? And we're moving on to the Super Bowl. The Carolina Panthers are back in the Super Bowl, baby. Carson Wentz, close, but not close enough. Not close enough. Let's take a look at this game. It's a low-scoring game for sure. Cam made less mistakes, it would appear. 
Uh, they outran us by a little bit. Wentz did fumble. Okay. So Cam definitely played better. Wasn't really required to do as much, though. Luke Keekley, God damn, he's so good. There, <laughs> Jake Elliott missed two field goals. Graham Gano missed one, but that changes a lot. Changes a lot. Well, does it, though? To be fair, I don't know if it does. Because either way, it was a one-possession game anyways. So even if they made the field goals, they would still probably play the exact same way they did. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Super Bowl versus the Chiefs. Okay, you see this every once in a while, but usually when it's the Chiefs, it's the Packers. So I don't know. This is a weird one, but doesn't matter to me because we are going to play and we are going to win. 95 to their 91. So the Eagles definitely harder, but the Chiefs second hardest, I think. I can't remember what the Falcons right, uh, overall was. Probably very high, though, because we didn't take anything off of them. So it's got to be a very great roster. Start of the Super Bowl, and they get a nice little defensive play, get a touchdown. We get a, a huge play down the field. I don't know who, too. Hopefully it was Fisher. I don't know why. I just want it to be Fisher. 14-7. Start of the third, and it is going to be a seven-point lead. I like that. I don't know who has the ball here. First, 21-7. to seven. Defense doing well. Offense, I mean, I don't want to say it, but I think we won a Super Bowl. I don't see how they can come back from that. 35-7. 42 to 7. Defense took this game over. I don't care what anyone wants to say. That was defense. 42 to 7. That is some dominance. They had a chance in the first, maybe a little chance in the second. But holy crap, at halftime, I'm glad we bought those cases of steroids, man. That stuff was nice. <laughs> really don't know how steroids would really help us here, but. Adrenaline, maybe? I don't even know. But hey, we won. The Chiefs lost. They're unhappy. We'll play another season because we're built for a Super Bowl. And uh, we obviously will built for a Super Bowl. We just won one. And it'll be our threshold. We'll have a dynasty potentially. We'll see. Mike Evans, Super Bowl MVP. Probably doesn't deserve it. We'll take a look and see if it was actually Cam that was supposed to be MVP here as well. Don't know why that's not fixed. I don't know where they get their like thoughts on these. Like... MVPs of the Super Bowl. It's not even close. Like, 90% of the time, it's a well off. I mean, sometimes they get it right with the running backs and whatnot, but way off. Uh, speaking of way off, is, I guess everyone's supposed to be at the podium that deserves to be there. You know, no real defensive player other than Keekly stepped up, necessarily. And then offensively, it was these guys. Maybe an offensive lineman should be up there, but let's be honest. <laughs> We're not putting offensive lineman up on the podium. Probably knock the whole damn thing down. Super Bowl champions, Cam Newton, was he the guy? Oh, he was definitely the guy. Definitely Super Bowl Cam. Super Bowl MVP Cam for sure. He did fumble, but 6 for 58, 1 touchdown. He had 4 touchdowns and only missed 4 throws. He's definitely the MVP. I honestly would argue that he was probably would be the first black quarterback to win Super Bowl MVP and regular season MVP. Because that's just rare. You know, that's rare, period. You know, so I mean, I don't know. I think I think he probably would have broken a record there. But, you know, EA just always trying to take Cam down. Cam Newton with a little 5,400 XP. You know, we, we kind of threatened Cam a little bit with potential uh, trade. But, hey, he, uh, he compatted that well. Maybe it was what fueled him. I don't know. Didn't scout any of the, um, you know, I let the AI scout this, this season. Didn't scout any of the uh, potential superstar guys. Don't really matter too much because we know what we want. But we do have re-signings. Greg Olson was great, don't get me wrong. But he has regressed to being a worse player than uh, Funches anyways. The punter was good for us, but he's inflated, so I can't, I can't be bothered. McKinney, sorry bro. Fisher had superstar. The money is a little expensive. It's a little expensive for these guys. Christian Ponder with slow dev. We have a couple of draft picks that might be also draining a little bit, but I don't think you can pass up on Superstar, man. A little risky. Almost lost him there, but actually, it's not risky. I mean, no choice. You, for whatever reason, you can't sign free agents, re-sign them earlier in the year. I don't know if that's like an actual rule or not, but Brandon Graham is in here. That's a weird name. Brandon Graham. It's so interesting. Could you imagine going for Joe Thomas? We'd have a stack line, but that would be a waste. Zimmerman not getting a contract. He wants a six-year deal, though. That's ridiculous. Like, 
How is it a fair deal for a rookie? Like, he just came off of a rookie season, and he wants a six-year deal. Oh, okay. Denzel, how you doing? Don't know why anyone wouldn't want him. That is really weird. Although, I guess to be fair, it's four years in the league. That's, wow. Denzel's been busy. Denzel has been a busy man. At an 81, 82 overall, he'd probably be a decent outside linebacker. So, we brought Lynch a ring. He better goddamn sign back for a hometown discount. You know, Denzel's for sure getting a contract. Our punter is being so dumb. Just take the damn deal. Like, you're not going to get that deal. I, th I think he might actually make free agency because no one's going to pay him six years, $22 million as a punter. Like, punters come and go all the time. Like, it's unbelievable. Kind of like kickers. I mean, to be fair, kicker is a little bit more needed, so you probably would want to sign someone like him to a longer deal if he was, like, top-tier punter. Lynch accepts. Punter, don't know. We'll end up re-signing if we can in free agency, which ironically is going to leave him off with a much worse contract. We're willing to take that guy early first. I'd be willing to take him anything outside the top three. Top four, or number five anyways. Think about that is a couple of those teams actually could use a linebacker. So Renardo Young definitely is going to be taken pretty high. He's superstar dev. He's a beast. Walker, Ben, I mean, he's not a must-have player, but I really do want him. So I'm going to take a look at the top. I don't think Walker, Ben would go top two. So I'm going to take a look at the Cardinals and Lions. I don't think the Lions would need one, but the Cardinals for sure. Oh, we got to trade to the Cardinals, don't we? Surely Walker Ben ain't going to go that high, right? So we own both these picks, so we can kind of monopolize this thing a little bit. We can choose who we want first. Whoever we want to pay more, we can choose right now. So I'd rather pay Walker Ben more because we know he's going to be a great player. Normal dev, kind of disappointing, but amazing. Top tier with actually a 255, depending on his jump. Is it jumping? It's not sure he's jumping on the stats. Actually, one of the best middle linebackers I've ever drafted. Daniel Alvarado, or Alvarado, Alvarado, superstar dev, amazing player. What was his speed? 473, a little on the slower side for 5256, if he was 500 pounds, Jesus. I don't know, I think this is worth it. A first round, a first round, and a fourth next year for Fletcher Cox. Fills one of the, the big needs on our team. I really don't have much else. I mean, definitely a huge trade for them. They got Alvarado. I mean, they landed a hell of a trade there. And it might have actually screwed us because I actually didn't pay attention to see where it was our next player was going to come from. Player we want. Actually, let's take a look. Maybe there's someone later as well. There is not. So Lorenzo Bibbs, not a big need, but we're going to take him. Quick dev, 80, 78 overall. We actually have an insane rookie linebacker class. Holy crap. Lineman isn't important. Either is the quarterback, but he's too good to pass. Really, a 70 overall. I mean, I get he's superstar. Definitely a fun type of player to work with, but a 70, though? Really? I don't know how good that guard was, but... Like, 88 speed, 92 tackle, 89 hit power at 6 foot tall, 21 years old. I wish he was an inch taller. He is a little bad on the jumping, but he's already ranked 21, and honestly, I'd probably rank him top 10 already. And then you also have Lorenzo Bibbs, also another guy that's very close to the top 10. What's his jumping? 81 jumping, a little bit better than the rest. Amazing player. Amazing player. Oh, only 82 agility. 83 agility as well. I mean, they're still great players. Swilling, you know, terrible player. Lance Nicholson, amazing player. Just missing that. What is he actually missing? So his mid and deep is a little bad, but that awareness is clearly... You know, if I were to put him at 80 awareness, he'd probably jump majorly. I don't know how much I'm going to show you guys of these players... Uh, it's really not a whole lot we knew about him anyways. And once again, we could have drafted many great players, just needed need to. Great left tackle there. Willie Bond. Whoa, 88 power move. A little on the slower side, but a great DT. Anton Grant Ingram. Really good player. He's 24 years old, which sucks. It kills me inside when I see these players with 24 years of age. Because that is so old for rookie like. You factor in, there's a lot of the rookies like coming in that are going to be like 21 and whatnot. Alan Morrow, corner. I thought he was a quarterback for a split. Zach Husak. Whose is it? Tell me. Renardo Young. We knew he was going to be great, but I didn't know he was going to be that great. Nice. Nice pick by the Bears. Landing themselves a stud. Decent zone and whatnot, too. Okay, jumping. 
He's a great player all across the board. He's already ranked the number 17th player in the league. I'd probably put him around number top 10. Pretty close. Olivardo. Really good player. 6'7". It's a very rare height, too. You know, that's an interesting player. But, yeah. I You know, get rid of those types of players. <laughs> Get rid of those types of players because they're not super hard to draft. Getting a guy like Shazier, kind of hard to get, you know. We are ready for the repeat, hopefully. Insane offensive line still. Funches is the new man on campus. Tackle, well, not really, but new man in the slot, uh, the wide receiver tight end spot. I don't know what I'm even talking about. Redo. New man at the tight end spot. Bam. Figured it out. We did it. Uh, everything else is the same. Defense, sorry, bro, but no, thank you. We have a really insane, like, depthful linebacker core. We don't really know how great they're going to be, but Ben, the starter, right outside linebacker, 83 overall, barely under Shaq Thompson. He's not even played a single snap yet. Uh, defensive line looks great. 99, 98, 96, 90. Nays kind of got pushed out there. Kawan was supposed to be the guy to replace, but then I thought, kind of makes no sense. You know, we'd barely be upgrading the position. And that's about it. But if we kept Kwan on, <laughs> Kwan on, we'd be uh, looking at a pretty good spot. So going into the year, nothing got worse. If anything, everything got better. I mean, Olsen, you can say got worse, but he really didn't because he was a good, he was going to be a 92 overall. And Funches is already a 91 at tight end. And he didn't play a single snap at tight end last season. So you know, a little bit of XP will probably give him uh, you know, a nice 92-93. So we have Joey Bosa here, six years, 61 mil deal. Doesn't appear anyone else is here, though. Normal dev for James Bradbury. Yeah, I mean, it, it appears that we're actually in a pretty good spot. To 12 wins. Cam Newton MVP again, though. All right. I'll take it. Didn't get the bye week that we deserved, but we did get MVP with Cam yet again. Destroyed the Colts. If we would have beat the Seahawks by that little... if Graham Gano was getting caught if he missed the field goal. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Okay, he didn't even have an attempt. All right. Get lucky today. But hey, Cam Newton, back-to-back -back MVPs. I mean, I haven't seen him win one before, and here he is winning two. Panthers definitely holding him back. Almost 5,000 yards. He definitely had a better year than last year. Uh, Lynch back on the roster looking good. Christian McCaffrey looking great. Uh, Funches, wow. Okay, so almost four 1,000-yard receivers. Fisher did really well, too. But Funches as a tight end did really, really well. Dominant. Uh, very dominant. Uh, offensive line did a little bit better. Bosa, 20 and a half, gets his contract. Gets his uh, gets his happiness, I suppose. No one else needs contracts, I don't think. Luke Keekley a little bit up than last year. He's kind of averaging, you know, god-tier stats, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, the rookie linebackers don't seem to have done too well. Hopefully one of them was good enough to win uh, defensive rookie of the year. Haven't won a, you know, the Rookie of the Year awards is where we're really missing out. Number one offense again. We were number 11 defense. I'd say well, that's way up top five for sure. Or not. 23rd. This good of a team and we went 23rd defense. Wow, really? So Cam Newton, number one, is uh, really. I'm surprised Christian McCaffrey wasn't on the list here. Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year. Bosa was number two. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Don't think we even had one. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Walker, Ben. There you go. Cam Newton, Gaffrey number five. Are all five of our guys on the list here? They are. He snuck in. Nice. I see Lyman Bosa, Keekly number two for like all the awards. Sucks so much, but it's all right. Let's get our XP. What do we actually have for XP? Let's take a look. Fisher, 45K. That's over. It's over. Germany, 36K. That's over too. Oh, my Lord. Walker Ben, 30K. God damn. Damn, Jamal Adams got a bunch of XP for some reason. Bosa even got a lot considering, you know, what he's done. Jamal Adams, Jamal Adams is the 96 overall. He could probably play man as well, or not man, but corner. David Harvgrove, who the hell is this? I honestly don't know who the hell this is. Maybe he's a uh, return man for us this year. Impressive. I don't know who the hell he is. Look at him just being a little sneaky beaver. 80 overall. Nice. I don't even know who that is. But I'm proud of him. You ever just like adopt a son and you're proud of him for some reason? Me neither, but that's what that felt like it would be. Oh, God, this team is too OP. Like, 
Panthers are a success story that I want to be a part of, and I am a part of. And we, you know, we changed up the team a bit, but it's not like we completely removed the original Panthers squad off the roster. Like, there's a lot of players that were on the Panthers in real life, you know, or are on the Panthers in real life. Didn't really change that much. We drafted a lot, so, I mean, and it's not like we super cheesed it. We did pretty well, just in general. So this is the updated roster. Germany is a 96 overall. This is definitely the best offensive line I've ever assembled. Uh, and we only traded for two players. Shaq Mason was only like an 86 when we got him. And then Dave Bakhtiari obviously got here. Funches as a starter. Fisher was a free agent. Two wide receivers aren't, you know, on our team. McCaffrey and Newton, both real. Lynch, you know, doesn't really matter as a backup anyways. Ben, Gi uh, ben Bibbs, Keekly, Thompson, all, you know, Non-trade fours, Haynes, Black, Kawan, Kuindanjo. You know, a lot of guys that weren't traded for. There was a couple of guys that we did trade for. Obviously, Fletcher Cox, Bosa, Jamal. Honestly, not too much, you know, that really helped us outside of this team or drafting. Bosa was a big one for us. Uh, Jamal, honestly, don't know. Uh, Cooper and Evans has been all right, I suppose. Uh, really, I would honestly say the offensive line trades have been the big ones. But even then... You know, the reason why we don't have any other guys is because we didn't need to. You know, I could have easily drafted someone 95 to their 88, but I could easily drafted players, would have replaced those two anyways. But, I don't know, I felt like we did a pretty good job. We didn't really, you know, cheese too hard, if anything. And we also traded away two first-round picks that could have turned into so much for Fletcher Cox, who has really not helped us a whole lot. I mean, the, our, our DT we drafted could have been a 90 by now, for all we know. It's just... I wanted to accelerate things. I wanted to make sure we didn't have any holes. And right now, if I had to guess, honestly, our biggest hole, even though he plays well, would probably be Christian McCaffrey because he's an 89 overall. You know, after three years in a C in our CFM, you kind of expect to have a guy a little bit better than 89 overall. I mean, it is what it is, though. He's still a great player. Funches at tight end is even fair. Although, to be fair, he's not that fast. He's like... He's actually really slow, if I'm not mistaken. He's under 88 speed, for sure. Wide receiver. Who is this, Fisher? Oh. Okay, I mean, that wasn't a plan of mine. I had him open, but that's why I usually, on that route, I turn into a streak on the outside. Let's take a look. I bet you didn't even look at the ball and he just made a pick. Starting off pretty well here. Damn, I can't believe I threw a pick. I made Cam look so bad there, and Cam doesn't deserve it. He's been really good. Look at, I mean, oh my lord, this isn't even fair. I'm just going to sim to the end of the game. Normally I kind of slow sim in the fourth, but this is embarrassing on the Cowboys' part. I mean, look at this. Oh, they scored three. Congratulations. Oh my god, 55-3. to three. This is possibly the most dominant team we ever made, just because of how well Cam is playing. And I will say, Cam is clearly my favorite player in Madden. Not even a question. He only threw one pick, and it was my fault. He would have had a perfect pass rating, probably, or very close to. Uh, Cam Newton, what the hell? Was he the one? Oh, my God. He had a 75-yard run. Holy crap. Cam's a god. Cam's the greatest quarterback ever. I'm going to have to start trading for him more often. Jesus, he's good. He's actually really good. And, like, we have good playmakers, but, I mean, Cam was kind of doing it without the greatest talent on the team or in the league. Offensive line has been really sick, though, and that probably plays a lot into it. Nine punts. Oh, my God. I wonder what the record punts in a playoff game is. Nine could be up there. Here we go. The Seahawks, uh, I believe, the only team we lost to in the playoffs. So, we'll see. This could be uh, this could be the demise. I mean, we already won a Super Bowl. Clearly a successful rebuild. A really good one. Let's. Uh, I guess let's take a look. What's going to happen today? Starting the game off, Seahawks score three. They stomp us on defense. Score another three. Start of the second quarter. They have the ball back. Defense locking up. Offense getting on the field on us. This isn't looking good, to be honest. Start of the third quarter. We're down 10. Really? 16-3. to three. That Seahawks defense is really good. I mean, defense did enough for us to get back in this. And there it is. Up by one. Start of the fourth. Nice little second half uh, comeback. Really good in the second half, usually. First and ten. Come on, just get into the end zone. We only score three. That's not good. And there they go with a the score. They're up by three. Offense doing well, but it's an interception. Defense 
No defense. Come on. I think we just lost. I think we just lost. How is it that the Seahawks can constantly beat us? I don't understand. Like, they're not even that good of a roster. Really? This insane roster. Like, the roster that I would consider the best I've ever had. Really? Really? I'm going to throw us two picks in this game. Probably should have came in when we needed it. Mason Crosby, god damn it. Damn, man, really? Cam Newton gets beat here. Cam Newton's been, like, flawless and loses to the Seahawks. They have a great defense, but really? Is their defense better than our offense? Our team is much better overall, I think. Damn, son. Damn. Not even a question the Seahawks are going to win the Super Bowl this year. For our, Well, you know what I mean in this league. Jags and Vikings, I guess not. I don't really care about this one. The Super Bowl that we all deserved in real life. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much going to be the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks for 20K subs. Uh, definitely uh, cool we hit that yesterday. But, yeah, this is the squad we made. Very good squad. Offensive line I just love so much. And the defense is very nice as well. A lot of youth. Maybe not the best team we've ever made. We do. We are lacking a little bit in the DBs. But still a great squad. And for some reason, Ben isn't a starter. I don't know if that happened after the season or what's the story. But maybe a roster we come back to in the future to see how many Super Bowls we can win in a short period of time. Got one win. Probably should have done even better there. But somehow we didn't win. Seahawks are our kryptonite. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for uh, you know what-if ideas, experiments, rebuild challenges, rebuild teams. Obviously, we're doing a realistic next. It might be the Colts next. We'll see Saturday. Um, a different game to play in general. Do you guys want to see different games that I've uploaded in the past? Do you want to see more Friday 13th, Rocket League, whatever it may be? Let me know. Thanks for watching the video. And yeah, hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!